Been grinding all year, man. Might as well say that, right? Putting that word, I've been grinding for years. Jam of the year, yeah. Ah, that's going in, bro. What's up, Jam? Bam, yo, we back at the house from the mall. And let me stop capping, bro. I ain't gonna hold you, bro. I've been procrastinating, bro. This has been like a month oh since God. I recorded the video that we just watched, yo. So, bro, I'm about to get back into recording, bro. I promise you, yo. So today, what I'm gonna do is show y'all how to use BandLab on your PC. All right, let's get into it. First step, you need a USB mic or an XLR mic, you know what I'm saying, with an interface. USB mic is really good, I promise you, yo. It's quick, easy, but it might not be the best quality, but it'll get the job done. If you want a be better quality, XLR mic, man, with an interface, I promise you, yo. I got a focus right interface, and it makes my sound crisp and clean. A lot of equipment, but your sound will be very crisp, I promise you. Step two, man, you need presets, man. BandLab already comes with some presets, but there's a lot of artists and a lot of content creators that come up with presets already on their YouTube. So go there, maybe find some, buy some, or maybe come up with your own. I promise you, it's gonna make your sound way more crisp. I'm gonna have a preset for myself as well too. And step three, you have to experiment. Your voice is an instrument and you gotta experiment with different sounds. You gotta do different cadences. You gotta do different flows. If not, man, you're gonna be stuck on one sound and you don't wanna do that. You wanna be versatile. So experiment and step four know your way around band lab all right know certain things that you need to do know how to copy paste slice because you can customize the band lab in your way so it'll be easier for you to work last and not least step five yo confident you have to have some confidence when you making music you push it out and have some passion behind your words and your voice you know it makes it more enjoyable and it makes it more emotional all right y'all open up the band lab app and create a new project i'm gonna go to voice audio I went on YouTube and found a beat. I'm gonna go ahead and add it right here. I always like my beats to be green. All right, next thing we gotta do is add a track. Go to voice audio. Make sure our microphone is the correct microphone. My microphone is Scarlett. I'm gonna turn on the auto-tune. And uh, I go to scale and project key. And it puts it in the key every single time. So make sure you do that if you're using auto-tune. It's in the correct channel. Let me do a mic check. Mic, mic check. check. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. okay. Whoa. Whoa. I, like I like the, the bartender. bartender. Okay. okay. All right, let me stop. You're getting a lot of feedback in your mic. I'm, you should invest in one of these dome mics. It goes right over your microphone. But I got this over it, so I'm not using it. I'm just using my regular filter. You should invest into a profession shock mount, one of these. It's very compact, so you can put your dome over your mic without these being, being in the way. What I like to do is... um. Change the color to my voice to purple. Uh, um, the next thing I'm gonna do is uh, add my personal preset, duplicate the track, cause I like to punch in. Also what we are gonna do is make our ad lib. Go to my main ad lib preset. Actually we're gonna change the color. We're gonna duplicate this about three times. Let's go ahead and hear the beat. Mm. Mm. Okay. Let's see what I can come up with. Let's get it. Sirski, that sounds like the way I want it. Let's go. All right, all right, all right. Let's do the low notes. Let's do the low notes. Let's get it. Harmony, man. I'm telling you, sounds dope. Let's go. Let's do, let's do. All right, all right. Turn me up, turn me up, turn me up. All right, let me do the oohs and ahs. There we go. It's like a rugged, like a more rugged voice. You know what I'm saying? So let me do it. Let me see if I can do it with a high voice without Band Lab tweaking on me, man. That's when you know it's time to move on to FL Studio. I promise y'all, yo. FL Studio is the one, but for beginners, yo. Fan lab, man. Gotta work it out, man. Figure it out.
Ooh. Okay, okay, we getting somewhere, we getting somewhere. All right, let me come up with some, uh, we'll come up with a, like a hook or something like that. I kind of like mumble, you know what I'm saying? Kind of give me like a little flow, I can kind of go with it, you know what I'm saying? Uh, happy New Year to everybody, man. Happy New Year, bro. And um, This year, or last year, has been crazy. I ain't gonna lie, bro. It's been a journey, man. It's been a journey, and I grew from 6,000 YouTube subscribers to... Uh, we're almost at 11,000 right now, man. And, and we went from 7,000 on Instagram to 12,000 right now. So it's like I've been grinding, grinding, doing 12 hour live music reviews every day and just, you know, sacrificing my time and life for this YouTube and try to uh, build a community, you know, and, and just try to become somebody. You feel me, though? So appreciate everybody who's been supporting me throughout this whole time because y'all know I've been grinding. And I feel like I should make this song uh, about that. everybody who was excited to make Jam of the Week um, during my live music reviews, you know, and my music been going in. So, to be honest, yo, I'm going to make this the Jam of the Year. Nah, for real. Happy New Year's to everybody, yo. Let me let me see if I can come up with a hook. Like, let me see. Hold on. I got a Jam of the Year. Yeah. I got a Jam of the Year. All right, I went ahead and just started screen recording my band lab. Because band lab be messing up if I'm filming and screen recording at the same time. So. Just to let y'all know, if y'all want to do future YouTube with BandLab, make sure just screen record BandLab. That's it. And just film off your camera. All right, y'all. I think I came up with a good hook I can record. I, I went ahead and deleted what I, all the mumbles and stuff I had. I'm going to go ahead and, and re-record uh, what I feel like is going to be a good sound. Let's get it. That sounds pretty good, yo. All right, let's go. Yeah. I I like the third one better, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut that out. I'm gonna slice it. I'm gonna delete the ones I had, slide it over, and try to line it up with it. Um, make sure y'all zoom in too when you're trying to line things up. Make sure you zoom in. Take out that extra, the extra like dead space, air, or maybe breaths out of your lyric and out of your waves. You feel me? And a lot of times I'll fade in with these, fade in and out like this. You grab these little edges right here and fade in, fade out like that. Pop a perk and I might disappear. I think that's on point. Been grinding all year, man. Might as well say that, right? Shed a tear. I think I should go lower. Let me know in the comments if you're liking that so far, man. Thank you for watching the video if you enjoyed it or learned something let me know in the comments jam that like button and make sure you subscribe to the jam fam i'm your host jva jam and i appreciate everybody here yo if you ain't jamming you jelly you already know i'm out